The soils in, in North Dakota, the soils in the Red River Valley, the soils in this region are around 15,000 years old. And during that 15,000 years from the time the glaciers uh, left to the, the time that they were plowed, uh, there were a series of grasses and forbs, which are broadleaf plants that grew on these prairies and they were occasionally grazed by herds of bison and other animals, primarily bison. And so it was a kind of a self-contained uh, ecosystem, the nutrients were returned to the soil, the plants would break down the primary minerals in the soil and they would deposit the nutrients that were released from the crop up on the top. Uh, six inches, foot, foot and a half, sometimes two feet. And so when the pioneers came in, the first settlers uh, came in and started plowing the land, uh, this, the land that they were plowing, had the accumulated nutrients of about 15,000 years of plant growth. And so the yields that they were able to achieve right after they, right after they plowed were astounding. They, they had wheat yields as high as 70 bushels an acre, commonly 40 bushels an acre, which are yields of wheat that we have today. So we haven't, we haven't moved a long way from 1885. Uh, but things uh, became very serious uh, around 1929, 1930 in North Dakota, and when it became drier, uh, and there wasn't as much cover, and the crops weren't as good, and the wind started to blow, and the wind just blew, and the soil blew. And uh, during that time, uh, USDA uh, woke up to the fact that the Great Plains were different. The settlers that came in here had no, no idea that uh, it was going to be this windy. They came from areas in the east where a stiff wind might be 10 miles an hour or so. They came from Bergen and Norway, you know, these shelter fjords and Scandinavia, uh, wooded areas in Germany and France and other places, and, and here they were. So nobody could tell them what was going to happen, and, uh, and, and, and then the wind started to blow and they found out that it wasn't the same as Bergen, and, uh, and so it took a while for people to really understand that this is a different place. The USDA in the mid-1930s, even you know, just halfway through the dust blow, uh, had, a, had a memo that uh, reported that 10 million acres of farmland in North Dakota was completely destroyed for any kind of agricultural crop production. The, uh, the nutrients that were, that were uh, there had blown away. A lot of farmers today think that the soil they lose ends up in the road ditch, and some of it does, of course, but the majority of what's lost is just lost up in the atmosphere, and the question is where did it go? It didn't go to the neighbors. It's in the Atlantic Ocean someplace. In the 30s, the dust storms that rolled off the plains, including North Dakota, would settle, some of the dust would settle on the cities in the east. And so scientists could scoop up soil in Central Park in New York, for example, and have it analyzed, and they did, and found that the, the phosphate content was 19 times greater than it was back on the prairies. The potassium content was 45 times greater than what was left in the prairies, and it was 10 times as much nitrogen in the, in, that was left in the prairies. So a lot of our narrative fertility lo were, we lost at that time. From the topsoil uh, losses that are estimated by NRCS, um, from the Dust Bowl to today, uh, we've lost the equivalent of another 30 years of phosphate application. We've lost more phosphate uh, through wind erosion in the state than we have applied as fertilizer ever since. So the tree rows that were put in were put in in the 40s and uh, particularly in the 50s. But the, that the idea was to get something growing as fast as possible because people lived through that hell of the 30s and they wanted to get out of it as soon as, as, soon as they could. So it's, it's distressing to see the tree rows taken out because they, they weren't put in for horticultural reasons. They were put in to, to hold the soil and to stop the, stop the horrible loss of productivity and the health issues that were caused by the soil blowing around before the tree rows were put in.